what is going on youtube it is your boy faithful to god a few days back benaya israel made several appeals to sources in the community tab section on his youtube channel in which he attempted to make a loose connection between the community of jews that lived in savannah georgia in the 1700s and the scribbling on the pews of first african baptist church in the same city unfortunately for him he did not vet his sources very well and as you're going to see in a moment he actually inadvertently made a claim for the very people that he rejects as Jews. On your screen, you can see one of the relevant posts which can be found in the community tab section on his YouTube channel. This is from an old book called Jews in North America, page 72. And here you're looking at various people who seem very excited by this. Uh, you see people saying this is getting gooder and gooder. Others, yes, this information is vital. And here you have, thank you so much for what you do. I refer people to your videos and have downloaded and read some of the books in your videos. And again, awesome work, fam. And here you have another person saying, whoa. But this one really stuck out to me. So Faith Hope Charity says, I'd like to know why black Israelites would escape the Inquisition of Europe to go to a country where black Israelites were enslaved. What happened to these Israelites in the USA? Did they remain free? C. Moran says, excellent question, family. Just excellent. Unfortunately for the folks who were leaving comments, they and Benaya Israel did not bother to vet the source. As you can see on your screen, you'll notice that while it is not highlighted in brackets, you'll see the phrase, many Israelites arrived in Savannah. That's what got most of these people excited. But what they didn't focus in on were the names at the bottom and more importantly, the one that I've highlighted specifically, Mordecai Sheftail. Now, why is that significant? Because we have an actual portrait that was made of Mordecai Sheftail, and he looks exactly the way that Hebrew Israelites claim Israelites are not supposed to look. And yet in that very citation, Mordecai Sheftail is being referred to as an Israelite. And here is the Jewish Encyclopedia entry for the Sheftail family. I want you to focus in on the highlighted portion on your screen. Furthermore, Mordecai's father, Benjamin, 